Can we get another round of applause? Woo! Yeah! So, starting this interview, can you tell us, like, who you are without telling us who you are? I'm a fun person. Mm -hmm. I'm very sweet. I'm very loving. And I'm me. I'm that bitch. So, who's that about? Like, everything you just said. It's about me. Oh, but don't tell us about you, but tell us about you. Like the other side that you don't really tell, that person. Okay, I'm very yeah. sensitive. And what makes you sensitive? You know, growing up, I've always been attacked because mm -hmm. of who I am, but I can't really talk about me, but. Right, right. So what is, what do you do to kind of like protect, like, you know, or what is your advice to people that's like, somebody that's probably like look up to you that's probably living proof like in your shoes. What is your advice to them? Pray, keep God on your side. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's gonna really like, keep you going. Nobody so do you else. talk to people that don't talk back? What is Um, no. Okay, so how do you pray? Because God don't say nothing back. <laughs> um, he does actually. So how did he sound? Because they say he white, they say he black. Is he black, white? What do he, who is he? He never talks. It just, it's just a feeling. Ah, uh, because mm -hmm. like I said, it's kind of hard talking to people when they don't talk back. I just keep it pushing. It's a difference, like it's like a, like a notepad. Mm -hmm. Like you're writing it down. Your notepad don't talk back to you, so you're really like you're saying your feelings to God, and just know it's jotted down and it's noted. What? <laughs> and that's the answer Actually, you're thinking. gonna with. make sense when you really you like. So, let's say this. I feel like I see that you're stepping into the YouTube world. Yes. What makes you like want to do that? Like. You don't have to. I don't. Why? Lately, I just been like tackle everything. Tackle? Yeah. You play football? No, but I could tackle a motherfucker. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So maybe that's why you get attacked. Cause I tackle people. Mm, I see how you flip that around, but I don't. I mind my business. You ever see mm -hmm. me doing anything? So it's a famous line, and it says Weezy F Baby. Mm -hmm. Please say the baby. Mm -hmm. Are you that baby? Um, I'm not that baby that he probably talking about, but I am his baby. So who's the baby he's talking about? He's talking about, I don't know, we gotta ask him. So you never ask who's the baby? Cause he said, please say the baby. He's a Libra, so he might say that I am the baby cause Libras lie. So you are the baby. Maybe I am the baby. But you just said you wasn't. Well, maybe I am. How old are you? 23, how can very you be fresh, how can very you be, young. Very... How can you be the baby then? Because he's been saying that since I was a baby. But you're not a baby no more. Do you hear him say it like that? Are we going somewhere with this? <sighs> Do you hear him say it anymore? Yeah. When? When I play a song. <laughs> you don't hear nothing new. Right. So what? I say three things that people don't know about you. Can you tell us right now? Three things that people don't know about me. I care a lot about things. That's like... So, like, I say, like, actions, like, kind of... Let's see, actions? Something unique, like, about me. What three things that people don't know about you? I be telling people I love them, and I really don't. Well, that's me. No, it's not. That's just something that I got. I just shared it with you. So what is something that you feel like you haven't told nobody that they just, like, damn? If I didn't get paid on the internet, I probably wouldn't be on it. I probably would live an Eve life and go somewhere far and marry a billionaire man and just mind my business. See, that's unique. So like, where you see yourself, like let's say if you was like, just came in like as a normal person, where would you have seen yourself like working at a job? Nine to five, probably. Mm. Like you as a person, if you just came in and just kind of like build your own legacy, where would you work at? Or what would you do? A doctor. Mm -hmm. Or like, most might laugh, a teacher. So you do like to be in people's business? Well, no. Because if you're going to be a doctor or a teacher, you got to be in people's business. But you said you don't like to be in people's business. Well, no, I don't business. like people in my business. And you said you mind your business. And your I business. mind my business. But just because you mind your business don't mean you don't be in people's business. What was your point in that right there? <laughs> Like I talk like I point, like with my mm -hmm. hands. I'm from New Orleans. So I feel like with your spotlight, you got a personality. 
And what made you open up and show the real that? Because, like, you know, you started doing TikToks, Shay Room started posting you. Because let's think about it. Eminem has a daughter. I don't even know what she looked like, but he talked about her a lot. Right. And you can be low key and never be seen. So, what makes you want to be to the public? It's me. Why would I keep myself in a house locked up? Look at all of this greatness. It gotta be out the door. It has to be seen. It has to be broadcast. What do you feel about the zoo? The zoo? Yeah. Like this period, like zoo. Like The animals don't want to be there, but the animals don't want to be there. They right. want to be in their ha own habitat. You talk to them? I have a dog. Mm -hmm. And I know like when she pissed on the floor, she, she knows she's in trouble. So I see it in her face. She's sad, she's moping. She goes to her cage. Mm -hmm. You know, you could read an animal, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. So I just feel like they start rumors a lot just uh -huh. for no reason. Right. Because it's a, such thing called monkeypox. It okay. has nothing to do with monkeys. What do you feel about that? Um, I'm actually really, like, spooked about it, you know? No, but I'm saying monkey. Just imagine being a monkey and it's like, damn, we ain't got that. Why they use our name for that? It's pretty effed up, ain't it? It is. Yeah, it's like if they, they call care. them the Monk Marco Pox, and it's just like, why y'all use my name? You wouldn't like that? Would you like your name to be in front of the Pox? <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, if the monkeys ever get to watch the show, is there a message that you want to send to them? Something positive? Maybe that's them calling. Probably so. One second. My baby mama be calling, too. Yeah, I'm on set right now. He's about Hold to on. get cast out. Your stuff is going in and out. Where's your cousin at? For what? What you mean for what? The, the cousin that's supposed to come to hook up my cable. He didn't come yet, and I sent him the money because you told me to. Okay. Sorry. Okay. No. She gonna keep calling. What? I'm putting it here. Yeah, no. Okay. All right, we could. You told me we could finish the interview. The so, are you related to Coach Carter? No, I'm not related to Coach Carter. I had the same last name. Hold on. You didn't hang up. I'm on the interview right now. Okay, well, well cash out me the money back that you told me to send your cousin. He was supposed I'm to sorry. hook up my cable two days ago. I'm sorry. School already started. Who's supposed to watch these kids when they get out of school if the TV not working? Do you know who should watch them? I'll watch them. Uh, I'm with my cousin. She said she'll watch them. <laughs> Stop playing with me, Marco. I don't care about the interview. Where y'all at? Because I'm about to come and get the money then. Cash out me your PayPal or Zimmo, Vimo or Zell, or it don't matter. Hey. I need you to do it right now. Yo, yo, hey, uh, somebody, can you take this phone? Here, just take the phone. Hey, if you give somebody that phone, I promise I'm... I'm sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, so, what do you want for your birthday? A new car, probably. Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite rapper? Lil Wayne. Besides Lil Wayne? Mm, my favorite rapper right now Dang, ain't nobody ever heard me say this, but I'm gonna have to say baby. Who is he up, baby? A little baby. Oh. What do you think about Lil Sauce? I don't know him. That's my cousin, he up and coming. Did he make good music? He ain't started yet. I said up and coming. Well, up and coming is like if you like put something out and coming up. But no. you said he didn't drop no, it. No, he woke up and he's coming up to the studio today. <laughs> That's up and coming. Okay. So, how do you, like, another question I want to know, like, what, what irritates you sometimes or, like, questions when it comes to your dad or just about anything around it? Is there anything that annoys you? Like, this is what I don't want people to ask. I guess I would say dumb questions. Like, like what? Give us an example. How does it feel to be Lil Wayne's daughter? Yeah, it's just that, the is dumbest dumb, that is a dumb question. <laughs> I like Polo G mom said she really hate when people come like, can you play my son? I mean, can you play your music for your song? For your song? Oh my gosh, that I get asked so many questions about my dad getting on a song. Mm -hmm. That is a dumb question. What do you guys say to those people? Please, just hit his manager or him or whoever. I do not work for my father. But you are the baby. He listened to you. He do. So you could change somebody's life. I have. Mm -hmm. Airbnbs or hotels? I guess hotels. Hot fries or hot chips? Hot fries. You know where I'm going with this? Where? Yeah, I don't know either. What's life for you? What do you feel about life? I feel like life is like Uno. I love Uno. You know how I was going to say I was like Uno? Why? Because you never know what you're going to draw. You're right. Listen to skills, one through 10, what do you give yourself? Seven. Why? Because sometimes I don't want to listen. 
And I can be honest and say that. Mm -hmm. It might be right, it might be something that I need to hear, but at the moment, I just don't want to hear it. What was you doing around three months? Do you remember? Three months ago? No, three months, age. No. Do you? Yeah. What? You really want to know? <laughs> what were you doing, please? I was getting breastfed, sucking on titties. I wasn't. Yeah. My mama, she breastfed in public. My mom never breastfed. So, like, do you got anything to say about uh, going public in relationships? Do you feel like it's a good thing or a bad thing? What is your advice to people that want to do that? Mm, I would say, you know, just take your time and just, like, you know, let it be the right thing if it is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say go public, just vibe. So do you regret going public? No, because that's what I, that's what I was with. That's, that was a part of me at the time. So I share my life with the world and that's. Right. So is that something that you're gonna continue doing? Yeah, no, I might, I'm 23. So yeah, I'm young, I might do that. Mm -hmm. I know it's just saying, hey girls, go and attack my man. Mm -hmm. But hey, it's okay. Who, was that your man that you just hit up? <laughs> yeah, he's small. And another thing I was about to say is just like, as a fella, like, guys like to show up their car because they mm -hmm. love it. They like to show up their jewelry because they love it. So why do you feel like a man shouldn't show off their woman if they love her? They should. But you said you wouldn't advise going public. Okay, but that, okay, so if you're showing off your woman, just make sure that you're respectful to her and you like, you're not having her looking stupid. What's looking stupid? You messing with all of these other people and doing stuff. Well, sometimes I feel like, cause if you, they say if you text somebody, that's considered cheating. It is. How? Because if you had a girlfriend, would you be cool if she texts the dude at midnight and being like, what's up? Mm -hmm. You'll be okay? If I'm asleep, it's okay. You have a girlfriend? It's like a situation. So you would let her text a man at midnight? I'm not controlling. It's not about controlling, it's about respect. So you just let your girl just disrespect you. Why well, that disrespectful? Yes, that is. Mm -mm. She be texting her dad. <laughs> Which dad? <laughs> <laughs> she's good. Yeah, she's good. How you feel about the interview? It's good. I yeah. like her colors. I don't think you really went deep enough, though. Right. I think she's got some some stuff in the closet she doesn't want to talk about. He's scared. You can come over here. Yeah. yeah. Like, if I was to ever do it again, what should I ask? Who's she dating? Mm -hmm. What kind of dudes does she like? Right. I mean, I'm sure she has, you know, stalkers. They right. Know. Ask about the stalkers, like, mm -hmm. just, like, figure yeah. out what kind of cars has they Has she go. been stalked? Right. Yeah. Are, are you her type? Right. Like, shoot my shot. There you go. You never know. Shoot your shot, bro. Yeah. She's looking at you. She keep winking at you. She well, took off her glasses. Like... That's usually a sign. It's right. body language. Right now, she's not here, though. She's not here? Yeah. We just okay. talking. Just me and you? Yeah. yeah. I would shoot my shot. Yeah. Yeah. You could be her sugar daddy. Yeah, I'm only 20, but... Eight. She's 23? Yeah. Five years? Sugar daddy. Oh, you're sugar daddy? <laughs> you eat a lot of sugar. You got a little weight on you. She's starting to play with her nails. She's bored. She's bored? Stop talking to me. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Did you hear everything we said? No, I wasn't there. Just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> you have pretty teeth. Thank you. I got them done for Dr. Rose. He's a uh, black dentist in Dallas. Dallas? Yeah. I have pretty teeth, but I want to just do like a little like one, two on them. One, two? Yeah. Y'all, you just want two teeth? <laughs> oh, you see that? Yeah, she, she just giggled like that? She yeah. like you, dude. She's commenting on your teeth, bro. Right. You know her and you and her daddy look alike. You know, girls <laughs> mm -hmm. choose people that look like their daddy. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Right, he sucks. He has no game. Um, <laughs> so, like, what is the best way to curse somebody? Mm, just don't respond. No, if you just had to respectfully. Respectfully? Yeah, like in public. Like, I know you had to curse people before. Okay, so life is crazy. All right, so let's get it down. We in public right now. All you right. at Walmart, you by yourself. <clears throat> let's go. Yo, how you doing? <laughs> how are you? I'm fine. Just sitting here. I see you shopping. And you know, I got a lot. You know, a lot of stuff going on. And you know my mom, you know, is around the corner, so I'm shopping for her. So I'm just sad right now, but you actually made me smile when I seen you. So I was stopping to just, you know, introduce myself. My name's Charles, what's your name? My name is Regine. That's real dope. I heard you, and I actually seen you before. Actually a big supporter of you. That's what's up, I appreciate you. I have a number to give you. You gonna give me a number? My therapist. Because if you come to me and just blatch your feelings all out there, like, you got to, like, gradually get to that point, you know? Like, I know I did. That you're going... I told you what I was doing. I told you where I was at. I was smiling. But I made your day. Yeah, when I saw you. But that sounds like game, whack game. So you stuck up. <laughs> 
I'm not stuck up. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very like chill and cool. Like I like when you be like, hey, you beautiful. To, like you're very That's beautiful. Lame. And I would That's be lame. like. <laughs> Thank you. Like, Everybody, that would get my attention right, so more then than... It's, it's 10 other um, girls that's beautiful, and then they're going to get their number, too. And that's good. A man that compliments a female on her beauty, that's like, you don't know how that'll make a female day. Okay, so you're beautiful. What's up? What's your number? Can't give you that. Why? <laughs> because... I'm Charles. You are Charles. Yeah, so we're in But what if I right had now. a boyfriend? Hmm? What if I, I had a boyfriend? I don't want a relationship. I just want to say that, you know, I know you. Literally, I have a boyfriend every time, even I don't have a boyfriend if I don't want to give you my number. So mm -hmm. you say, Charles. Right. I have a boyfriend. I got a girlfriend. You're unfaithful. I would never date you. No, I'm never. What? So like, just, if you have a girlfriend. I'm saying a girlfriend like we're friends. And I'm saying a boyfriend like we're friends. Right. So we can be friends together. I can be your other boyfriend. We can be friends. Right. Follow me on Instagram. DM me your number. And I'm going to walk away. That is how you do it. You always tell them, DM you the number. So have you ever thought about changing somebody's life? Cause you could. If you just seen a cute boy at McDonald's, you like, he cute, I wanna boss him up. I mean, I wouldn't say like change someone's life. You but could. If a man comes around and treats me good, he- No, but I'm saying just imagine, you know, let's say like dudes, dudes will probably get, you know, like somebody and change their life and they could be a big time celebrity. They do it all the time. Right, so why can't you do that to a dude I that works? could. Working? Why don't you do it? Can you do that for us? I'm not changing no man's life. Let's make that a YouTube challenge. Change somebody's life? Yeah, like we go out, we pick the dude, he working at McDonald's, we like, you give him a makeover. Makeover and change his life? Yeah. Can I do you? I Dang. can get you a date. So what's wrong with me right now? <laughs> I don't know, it's just giving everywhere. I got on Balenciagas. We kind of dress alike, mine's just oversized. Are we dressed alike? You can't do that, but I can. Yeah. But we are. Blazer. This is not really a blazer. It's like a shirt that kind of like gives off a blazer look, but it's not. Mm -hmm. We're not dressed nothing alike. One through 10, what you give my suit? Mm, I would give a five. <laughs> Effort. So before we leave, what do you guys say to the world? That camera. Which one? Hi, world. I just say, keep getting your money, keep staying healthy, mind your business, live a little, oh, love a little. Oh, he wants to look at that camera. Oh, so start it over. shit, right here. Yeah, no. Right, that's what I felt that I was gonna Okay, look. let's do that one. Hey, world, I just wanna add a little sprinkle in your life and say. Is that camera rolling or is that one going? Like, huh? My bad. Yeah. Let's go to this one right here. <laughs> if you don't mind. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ready? Hey world, I just wanna sprinkle a little one, two in your world. You didn't say that the first time. Yeah, but I'm saying it now. You you, you, you pointed me to three cameras, so I'm gonna switch it up I'm just gonna keep the same bit. message. Get your bag, stay healthy, live a little, and mind your business that pays what you. What about the people that don't have businesses? Everyone has a business that pays them. My cousin work at McDonald's. That's not her business. They pay. They pay her. But they ain't her business, though. So that's uh, corporate turner. That's her the business is waking up every morning and getting to McDonald's and doing her shift. You know who corporate turner is? That's the owner of McDonald's. No, I don't. Oh. I, I feel like it's a lot of owners of McDonald's, right? No, it's only one that started actually the McDonald's. The franchise. Yeah. Yeah. And don't let nobody play with you. That was good. From that camera, this camera, that camera, and you changed every answer. So I just learned that you don't really keep shit the same. I don't. Yeah. You can never, ever catch me keeping shit the same. So how do you have a boyfriend? I don't. <laughs> when you do have one. Oh yeah, we keep this, I keep them the you same. You just said you don't keep shit the same. <laughs> so there you go, guys. I don't we keep shit the same with him. Yeah. I switch it up. No, nah, she's a uh, cheater. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You wanna give us a round of applause? A little louder. What did she do? Hmm? What did she do? Uh, she sings and rap. You're, she said she didn't rap. I don't sing and rap. What do you do? I have a clothing line. It's called I Fit In. Is it? You got stuff for BBWs? <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> what? That's not funny. You really don't laugh at that. Okay, so you're not Don't BBW. encourage me. Why are you laughing? Right, so what do you call big man? Are they BBMs? Big beautiful man? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because why Why are you not coming back at him? I'm not a comedian. You I'm can't. not a comedian either. That's not fair. I'm a whole black man, so that's it. Round of applause. Clap one at a time. No, you clap, you clap, and then you clap. Like, you start off.
That's it. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. So uh, you got manners? Do I got manners? Mm -hmm. I think so. Hell yeah. But you said my bitch say bless you, you can have her. Let's build your perfect woman, like girlfriend. Bro, I really, I really love dark skinned women. Mm -hmm. Like if she ain't dark, I don't, I don't want her for real. And would you want her to be good? Like you want a good girl? No, I want a truthful girl. Mm -hmm. Like honest and like a like good to you. Yeah, as long as she truthful, you know what I mean. Right, but you're the same person that said you only like hookers. 